again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the front room. Still working on getting my comfort zone back and warming up. The only way I know how, which is to just go ahead and do it. I'm going to spread myself a layer of black paint around my edge. I'm going to try to keep myself from worrying about fixing the edges because chances are I will be doing something about that as I go along. I'm definitely thinking about putting a puddle of white down the middle of this. There, I already dripped <laughs> over my edge. For some reason I'm messier inside than I ever was outside, or at least that's the way it seems like since I'm in this like almost clean room, or it used to be a clean room. <laughs> I haven't I haven't squirted any clogs out at the end of the, my tips. Looks like there's enough paint to go a good deal toward the center, which is okay with me. I'm going to try and cover my corners. Same difference. Hard to see the difference between black matte canvas and paint with my eyes the way they are. I will get them fixed someday, I hope. I just got an estimate. It wasn't, it wasn't pretty. But uh, it's going to happen. So I've been saving up for a long time. So, thank you guys, by the way, for all the wonderful comments you leave me. And thank you for the contributions that have helped keep me painting all this time. My, uh, my center section is just about covered, and I think I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm going to have to make... I wish I had a place to put that down. You know what? I actually do. That's pretty cool. So... Before I use any swipes, I think I'm going to combine some dribbles. Put that right in there, maybe. I got to use something in the bottom of this, and I just took my 24 karat gold from Deco Art Americana and squeezed some folk art color shifting orange into it to make it a darker color. And I'm going to use, well, I was going to use, I'm going to use some Anita's white pearl, white, white metallic can't ever seem to get that quite right. That should come right out of there. <laughs> she said optimistically. Can't, can't go on without that. I need this. It's one of my major go-to's. It's inexpensive and it doesn't bleach out things into a pastel too easily. I'm going to give myself a little bit of that and a lot of, and a lot of what? All right, so that's a start. I kind of need another shovel, and I don't see one, and I know it's right here. There it is. Cool. Let's do that the other way. And I, I don't know. I'm just being called to colors that I wasn't expecting to be called to. I'm going to throw a little bit of dioxidine purple in the bottom. Some of the regular Decor at Americana Gold. This is my flash, my purple flash from... Folk art, it's a color shifting paint. I want some blue. I think I'm going to use some odd color blue. This has probably got deco art, excuse me, this has probably got golden product, iridescent pearl fine mixed into it. The question is do I put any of this emerald in there or should it be turquoise? I think I need something outside my normal, although that is really, really far outside my comfort zone. So let's just do. Go a little further in that direction. Sometimes, sometimes the weirder they, the colors are, the better they turn out. So sometimes it's good to experiment. This sells, and that's strange. Now, whatever else I want to add, I will add after. But for right now, I'm going to bring that canvas back. And I'm going to throw a puddle of white on, or several. or six or seven or whatever. So let's let's do weird things. <laughs> let's do completely unexpected off the wall strange things. And when that shovel's letting that paint flow down, I will add some more to it. 
in a moment, same as I will for this. And I'm just going to keep doing that. I want some orange in there. What's it feel like to want Priscilla? I went away and I had shaken my bottles. I'd used them earlier. And all it takes is getting some paint into that tip. And I can do whatever I want with this. But right now, I just want to experiment. It's been a little while since I did anything quite exactly like this. I want some yes. That is some golden magenta, I believe. It could also be the Americana Berry, because they both sort of do the same. They're very, very similar. Now, I did this the other day, and it worked well. I'm going to go ahead and use some of my Venetian Modern Masters, and I think I'm going to spread a little more gold in there, and then I'm going to go back again. I don't know what you can see. I'm going to use the fact that there's some orange in there. I really want to swipe, but I'm not sure how this is going to go yet. I pl I'm planning on tipping first. These are my OXO omelet. Excuse me. <laughs> That's my Princeton Artel Catalyst spatula number one. I always feel like when I'm dripping, I'm channeling Jackson Pollock. I don't know. I guess I probably need a buzz for that. But I've had pretty good luck with these accidental dribble artworks, and I'd like to continue that trend. I haven't put any black enamel in yet, and my choice is put it in now or put it in later. And if I put it in now, it might be a facilitator for if I, if I swipe. And if I don't, it might actually make it become a catalyst for some cells. Now what was I saying? I was saying I wanted to use a straw, and if I wasn't saying it, I meant to say it. So let's just have some fun. I don't want to get rid of that green. I like that little bit of green. Matter of fact, I like that little bit of green so much, I think I'm going to give myself permission to add a little bit more. I could just keep doing that. <laughs> I could just a little bit more of this and a little bit more of that. I wonder if that's a dog here I'm seeing and what I did with my tweezers. It seems like I find my tweezers in the last five minutes of every painting and until then they're gone for the whole thing. I think that might be a dog here though. Something else stuck to these. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen. I can swipe. I really want to swipe while I still have some moist background. And I've got this taily thing, and I have never used it before. So I want to try it. It's just a, what do you call those kind of, the birds with the split tail. Oh boy. It'll come to me. Somebody will tell me. And this is definitely in lieu of any other tool like a fork or a basting brush. And I can flip it over and use the colors that are left on it. It's a bit of a wreck. I mean, like a comb wreck is a wreck. Because there's two of them, I wonder what else I can do. can always take another shovel and work my way around the outside so it's not in a white background. I have an airbrush and I'm dying to get, get to using it. I see that purple and I don't really want to lose it. I like all my... that. I see that right there. Come here, you. Whatever you are, you can go away. Now I still haven't used a piece of acetate acetate as a uh, as a swipe. And 
and the puddle of paint seems to be just swallowing my negative space, but that doesn't mean that I can't add some more. And if I'm going to add some more, maybe it ought to be with the enamel. And then we'll just find another. I could use a spatula for that pretty easily. Because that'll teach me once and for all if I can make cells. Well, even if this looks completely terrible right now, I could still save it. It's been known to happen. Although it doesn't, that white is not making, making me super happy right now. So I'm going to throw that in the bucket, wipe my hands off, look and see what I've got, what I might want to do. I like this purple up here. I think that's my ticket. Let's just get completely down and completely funky. Run that skewer right through the middle of things. Follow my muse's instructions. Go nuts! <laughs> that's a that's better already in my opinion. Yeah, I like the the energy is better than it was. And I still want more of that purple. I've never put really huge spirals in, but it's very, it seems appealing to me right at the moment. That's kind of cool, actually. I wasn't sure it wasn't going to be a complete loss for a minute, but then I have those moments, just like we all do, I'm pretty sure I'm not alone. I should use either a different skewer or wipe this one off. Too late. That's a little better. I like that with the orange. The orange is not hurting my feelings any. I could put chain in there. I could put black in there. I could put purple in there. I could do whatever I want. I could do it because I can. <laughs> That's the name of my first book on the Amazon link. It's under the link tree, which is right under the video. Yeah, I'm just going to do the largest spirals possible for change, since the background is black anyway. And I might not like them, but I might. It's a nice heavy puddle of paint. It's not 100 degrees out here. I like that green. How much time do I have left? I got two minutes. I can still play for a little while longer. I like the green. I liked. I didn't use very much of that turquoise. I didn't really swipe. I mean, I sort of did, but I sort of didn't. I've got that blue, Venetian blue that I love, but it's not, the paint is too deep to save it, I think. I've got too many tools and too much on my mind. <laughs> All right, so. I wasn't sure I loved the large spirals, but I think there's room for a couple more. There's room for some gold in there, that's for sure. And maybe even some more of that orange. So that the eye will travel across. But where I see this one color orange, I usually want the other one, which I didn't use a lot of, or any. But for some reason, those two together make me happier than just one or the other. Maybe because this is kind of like yellow. And if I don't mix it in with the blue around it too much, I won't get green. 
I'm happier with that. Okay, so far so good. Things are improving. And I haven't run out of time quite yet. I've got... Magenta with iridescent pearl fine in it. And a lot of paint that I will not be removing. I use Ga uh, GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixtures, which means that they don't crack when they dry and they're heavy. I so want some blue in there. I do. All right, so. I know that this Prussian blue will sell but it's also so dark, it's almost like adding black. The hard one made it disappear, so I went softer. And that one disappeared, kind of. But I still like, the. it's still an improvement for me. That gives me two minutes to tell you guys I do sell my artwork, and you can find my email address directly under the video, under the link tree. I also give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I feel kind of like my mojo might be coming back, and uh, so whatever happens, I'm not giving up on this one until I get something I really like, and I'm not that far off yet. I'm getting there quickly, actually, which is... A vast relief because I haven't felt comfortable for a while <laughs> and I love you guys and I love doing this for you and me of course and there's almost 89,000 of you subscribe Still a couple hundred left to go at this point. I'm not minding that white anymore at all, and I wasn't super thrilled with it. I like that the black background stayed black, and uh, this is just un this is a little unusual. That's okay. Unusual is good actually. So what should I tell you guys? Please give me a thumbs up. Please watch my videos longer. It helps my placement on YouTube. I appreciate that. If you are one of the contributors to the studio, please accept my appreciation. Thank you so much for help, helping keep me painting all this time. Yes, I am. I'm still adding spirals, and it's okay with me to do so, because I like them. A few more here and there. I'm trying to decide if there's some turquoise needed in here, and I kind of like to have some. But I want to be a little bit careful about how much. Yep, that's not bothering me. And I got one minute left to say, if you check under the link tree, you'll find Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. If you check under the under the under my email and the link tree, you'll find my paint pouring recipe in the description of the video. If you check on my YouTube channel, you'll find PayPal and Patreon, where if you want to be a uh, somebody who donates to help keep the studio rolling. You'll find on the end screens of any video that I have placed an exhibition video that includes each month's drawing prize potential. Well, you get my drift. It's there on the end of all of them. I bulk edit. And uh, I'm happy that I did everything that I did th to this so far. We'll see what stays. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I don't think I need a whole lot more of anything, but sometimes I change my mind after you're gone. And... Um, the only thing I'm thinking is that I could use a little more negative space a couple places. And I love you guys. And I hope you come again. Check my Amazon link. At no idea cost you if you shop there. It helps me out. Thank you for the wonderful comments. I will see you anon. I will be torching for a moment. And I like it. It's one of the fact that I wasn't sure I would. <laughs>
So I want some gold in there, even though there isn't any right yet. 